Nigel Farage's question time war of words with Russell Brand continued today after he claimed the millionaire comedian had a personal stylist on set who straightened his chest hair. The star, who is famous for his long hair and open shirts, also had his lips moisturized minutes before filming started last night, which is why he didn't utter a word of sense, the Yukup leader said. Mr. Farage also poo-pooed Brand's view that the best way to change British politics is by not voting, saying, this isn't the way politics is done in this country. And I'll be damned if a chest hair obsessed Hollywood type tries to tell us it is. Russell Brand responded today by saying pound shop Enoch Powell Nigel Farage drinks too much, which the politician dismissed, although he admitted to having a gin and tonic before the show. And as social media came alive with analyses of last night's clash, Brand used his moment in the spotlight to protest against banking bonuses when he stormed the Royal Bank of Scotland's London headquarters and accosted employees. The comedian entered the building's lobby with a television crew and approached RBS workers returning from their lunch to quiz them on their earnings and bonuses. But when his questions to bankers entering the building were largely ignored, he turned his sights on receptionists and security guards working in the lobby before returning to the street to try his luck with passers-by. Last night's clash was highly anticipated and Twitter users compared it to a posh Jeremy Kyle show as audience members turned on Russell Brand, Nigel Farage, and each other. Everyone fancied that Mr. Brand and I might butt heads, but actually, as we entered the studio, and his personal makeup artist straightened his chest hair for him, I kid you not. I realized that perhaps he might be a bit lighter weight than expected, Mr. Farage told the Indie Voices website. For all Mr. Brand's posturing, he was really quite limp. Maybe it was the chapstick that his makeup artist applied to his lips at the last moment, but he didn't seem to utter a word of sense. 